may want to be home tonight. It's going to be so chilly, or perhaps in a movie theater. Yeah, Bob right? Richards. That's usually how your Friday nights go, right? <laughs> yeah, usually. Critic, that's yeah. the life right there. And uh, a couple things coming out. Are we making not any? a lot of choices okay, this I was week, say, though. Not making yeah. any big pushes no, for good stuff. Kind of a slim week at theaters. But the first Christmas movie of the year makes its debut in theaters. After 15 years, Morris Chestnut, Tay Diggs, Regina Hall, Terrence Howard, Sanaa Lathan, Nia Long, and Harold Perrineau reprise their career-launching roles in R-rated The Best Man Holiday, a sequel to 1999's The Best Man. When the college friends finally reunite over the Christmas holidays, they'll discover just how easy it is for long-forgotten rivalries and romances to be ignited. And at the flicks, Helena Bonham Carter stars as Miss Haversham in a new adaptation of the Charles Dickens classic Great Expectations, which chronicles an orphan who learns he has an unknown benefactor and sets off to London with Great Expectations. Ray Fiennes, Sally Hawkins, and Robbie Coltrane also star. It's rated PG-13. Diana, now at the downtown Edwards 9, looks into the private realm of the Princess of Wales, Diana, in the last two years of her meteoric life. On the occasion of the 16th anniversary of her sudden death, the film explores Diana's final rite of passage, a secret love affair with a Pakistani heart surgeon. Naomi Watts and Naveen Andrews star. It's rated PG-13. For my reviews, a look at this week's DVD and Blu-ray releases and more, head over to my website, bobrichardsmoviereviews.com, or link to it at IdahoOnYourSide.com. It looks like they nailed the casting for Diana there. Just the she looks a little bit like yeah, yeah, yeah. Did a good job on that one. All right.